Never again will I make the stupid move of fighting Gus before I am ready. So instead, we will talk to Professor Frankly. And I'm not gonna waste time with all this. He's just telling us some stupid crap no one cares about. Um, you can read it if you want to. It's not really that important to tell you what's going on right now. I feel really bad for people who write all this stuff. Just for like half the players not to read it. And just tap A as fast as they can. Like I am right now. But I've read it the first time, so it doesn't really matter. Uh, unlike Chucka Conroy, I complete this whole part in like 20 seconds. Oh wow. Yes, this piece comes off the gate. Um, that opens up new doors for us. I don't use action commands. Don't be stupid. No. no wait, I got it right. No. No. I cannot do that voice. I used to be able to do it like really good, and I cannot do it anymore. Like, I'm not like Chucka. Chucka Conroy. Which is fun to say, by the way. Okay, let's save while we can. It's a good idea. It's always a good idea to save. Save what you can for later. Yeah, we got the whole Goomba family here. So let's do some tattling here while we can. So let's tattle on him. Oh crap, I failed to tattle. I can dodge him really easy. Okay, let's do it right. That's a Goomba, yeah. One, two health, one attack power, and really useless. Get rid of him. Oh, crap. Dude, I'm screwed. I didn't mean to do that, by the way. You want me to get my hammer? Go oh, back, you a big hammer. Yeah, I was actually really lucky he attacked her. Wow. Okay. That's a Paragoomba who could fly. Unlike the first game, they don't die in midair, they fall and die. Oh, where's the what prizes and stuff? I need help. I love how, like, Boom Bell is, like, dead in the cutscene, like, Mario's not, like, taking any effect from it. And, like, he's, like, hanging down, like, oh, god, I'm almost dead. Like, right after the cutscene. So we go down this pipe here, and I forgot where it leads. Of course it leads to wherever we don't think I'm going. Oh, crap. Yeah, jump on them, you'll get the strike first. Which pretty much means... You just attack before the battle. I'm only thinking this is Paper Mario 1. I can attack after... Like, I can use, like, action commands during the first strike, duh. Okay, whoa, whoa, someone's trying to swoop down and kill me. Um, no, Bowser hasn't taken over here, so the Goombas are just here because... Oh, well, it is a Goomba town, so... Give me a badge. I need a badge. I need to explain those. 
Well, I am really, like, risking my life here trying to do that. Oh my god, I am, like, risking Mario's life. Whack that, get a mushroom. And unlike the first game, you can also use mu like, items outside of battle if they're healing items. And I will give Mario the mushroom because I was dumb enough to fight Gus. So, yeah, if you tried to fight Gus like I did, um, sorry about that. I was really being stupid. Ha, <laughs> got you in one shot. Okay, where are we going next? Well, let's hit this block first. Get a fire flower. Whack these boxes. And let's go in here. And get in there. Um, there's no items you can really get out, like, out here right now, so. Oh, yes, there is. Um, there's a star piece back here. There it is. That's a puny. Um, we'll see him later. I guess it's a new enemy. Whoa, what am I doing? Oh, look at this guy, yeah. They have three health. Better tattle him. That's a Spinia. Um, these, they're just one health more powerful than a Goomba. And they're a little harder to dodge. But they're not that bad. And they're also three-dimensional enemies, so... Um, yeah. And he's dead. Whoa. Um, later we'll see like an orange one with spikes on his head. And he's like a spiked Goomba pretty much. Uh, I forgot to show, I forgot to show uh, the stylish Goombas, or Goombella's attack. Head bonk. Press A right before she jumps. Well, you do it right. There we go. That's how you time the spinning. I'm going to try doing Goombella's. There we go. I got it. I got it. That's all I wanted. And then Mario's, it's time to stylish. Let's do it. Like after his jump there. Credit check a combo for don't be discovered that one too. And. Oh, he's dead. Okay. Um, we gotta get that key right there, so. Oh my god, random stairs! Let's climb them and see where they lead. Um, walk over here, fall down, and get a key! Um, these black keys will open up chests, which are, um, really important to the game. I'm not going to spoil what they do, so let's just open the one up and see what happens. Um, this is a cursed chest. I'm just going to spoil it. Um, I'm going to show you what kind of curse it is. It's not a bad curse. Don't be afraid to open him. Um, we have to open him. Um, the curse is giving us a new move, pretty much. Um, they're really stupid when it comes to cursing. <laughs> cursing. So we go through these pads. Press Y. And we turn into an airplane! Uh, oh crap, I, don't, I forgot. Oh crap. You idiots, I'm scared. You did not fail yet. Yes, I get it. That's terrible. And you press B, turn back, and that's pretty much all it is. That real curse ish, if you think is right. So let's do it our first time, actually. We're gonna try it out. Until I get to a safe point, I will not stop this video because it one's really close up. Right there. And I will actually do this room in the next episode. Oh crap, I gotta watch the cutscene. Yeah, um, end of episode. I will save right here in this room and continue the episode off screen. I uh, save off screen pretty much, I guess. That, that'll work, wouldn't it? Oh, just walk all the way up around here. I want to show where the save point is, if any of you want to stop playing as well. It is right there. Yay. Thank you for watching. The end of episode. Insert chapter ending.